Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover the 8th unit of NCERT Geography, Class 7. We are going to study about the environmental conditions of two different river basins and we are going to analyze its similarities. So let's get started. People around the world are living under different environmental conditions. Some live on desert, some are from cold region, also some live in hot and wet tropical rainforest region. And the climate in tropical rainforest is typically boiling, very humid and also wet. People of each land, they look different. They speak different language, they have their own traditions and customs. However, they all share a common basic need for life like food, clothing and shelter. Also, they do the things that we probably do at our place. They help their family on household activities, they have an occupation, they feed their family, they live in community, they laugh, they quarrel sometimes and then they make up the things. Today we are going to see about two different river streams and the life that is encircled in these two areas. First let's see about the Amazon river basin which is in South America. On the globe the river basin lie between 10 degree north and 10 degree south latitude. As it is close to equator, it come under tropical region. We can even call this an equatorial region. Now let's see some facts about the Amazon river. It is an east flowing river like how we have east flowing rivers in India. And Amazon river finally reaches the Atlantic ocean which is on its east. Have you ever thought how Amazon got its name? The river was first discovered by Spanish explorers. When they visited the place, they were attacked by a group of local tribal people who were said as the native people of the land. They were wearing headgas and grass skirts. These people reminded the explorers the fierce tribes of women warriors known in ancient Roman Empire who were called Amazon. Therefore, the basin was named Amazon. Many tributaries are joining the Amazon river, thus forming the Amazon basin. And remember, when a river flows into another body of water, it is called the mouth of the river. The small contributing river that are joining a larger river is said as a tributary. A large river along with all of its tributary draining an area is said as a river basin. It can also be called as a catchment area. The equator passes through 13 countries and they are from the continents of South America, Africa and Asia. In South America, they pass through Ecuador, Colombia and Brazil and in Africa, they pass through Gabon, Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Kenya, Sotom and Principe and Somalia. Likewise in Asia, they pass through Maldives, Indonesia and Kiribati which is also known as Oceania. As Amazon Basin stretches throughout the equator region, the climate is both hot and wet throughout the year. Wet climate denotes the presence of moisture in its atmosphere. In Amazon, both the day and night, they are hot and humid and during such conditions, our skin feels sticky and we may feel irritated. During the day, the temperature is high along with the humidity level. Whereas during night, the temperature may drop but the humidity level remain high in Amazon. Also, in the Amazon forest, there will be a heavy rainfall. And due to this, the trees are thick and making the forest dense. Sunlight can't even touch the ground even on daytime and only shade tolerant vegetations grow here. These forests has plant parasite varieties like orchids and bromeliads. Bromeliad is a special plant. It can store water on its leaf. Animals like frog, they use these water pockets to lay their eggs. The rainforest is also rich in fauna. It has variety of bird collections like toucans, hummingbirds, birds of paradise. They have a brilliantly colored plumage. Plumage is nothing but a layer of feather. Also, the birds have a oversized bill. All of these make them so different from the birds that we see in India. Also, these forests, they have animals like sloth, monkeys, ant-eating tupper, etc. And it has species of reptiles like crocodile, snake, python, anagonda, boa constrictor, etc. And it is a home for thousands of species of insects. 
so the river has a flush eating piranha fish in it therefore the forest has a variety of life in it let's see about the lifestyle of people who live in these forest here men go for fishing and hunting whereas women grow crops they mainly cultivate tapioca pineapple and sweet potato as hunting and fishing is uncertain women are the one who keep their family alive with the vegetables they grow the staple food that is the food they eat on regular basis are manioc it is also said as cassava it is a root vegetable like potato and they are rich in starch the people of amazon they also eat queen ants and their egg sacs they practice slash and burn agriculture it is a way of cultivating land here the farmers clear the piece of land by slashing or cutting down the trees these are then burnt which makes the nutrients to get into the soil now they grow the crops that they want in the cleared field after some years when soil loses all its nutrients they clear another piece of land for cultivation in the meantime young trees start to develop in the old field with this soil fertility of the land get restored people use this land again and the process repeats apart from the root vegetable they also grow cash crops like coffee cocoa and maize as the rainforest provide lots of wood they make thatch houses out of them they are shaped like beehive there are also large apartment like houses which is called maloka it is a house of steep slant structure now the life of people in amazon basin is slowly changing in older days the heart of the forest could only be reached by navigating through the river the trans amazon highway that was built in the year 1970 made almost all parts of the forest accessible also aircraft and helicopter are used to reach various various destinations in the forest the indigenous people the native people of the land was pushed out from the area and they were asked to stay in new places where they practiced their distinctive way of farming the developmental activities that are done here also led to the gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforest it is estimated that large area of the rainforest is disappearing annually from the amazon basin you can see the wider implication of forest degradation in this image the top soil washes away during rainfall and the lush forest turn into a barren landscape another river basin that we are going to see in this chapter is ganga brahmaputra basin this basin is in the indian subcontinent and it lies in the subtropical region of the earth which is in between 10 degree north latitude to 30 degree north latitude the major tributaries of river ganga are gagra san chambal gandak and koshi likewise some major tributaries of river brahmaputra are dihang lohit subansri tista meghna and manas some important physical features of this basin are ganga brahmaputra plain we can see oxbow lake in the plain region also other landscape features are sundarban mountains and food hills of himalayas the area is mainly dominated by monsoon climate and monsoon winds monsoon wind bring rain here from mid june to mid september agriculture is the main occupation of the people they cultivate crops like paddy as rainfall is high also they grow wheat maize sorghum gram and millet varieties they grow cash crops like sugarcane and jute also banana cultivation is done on plain regions tea is harvested on plantations in the states of west bengal and assam likewise silkworm is cultivated in the parts of bihar and assam in mountains and hills where the slopes are gentle they grow crops on terrace terrace are built on steep slopes of mountains they make flat lands to grow crops in these slopes the farming method is useful as it slows down the speed of water that are coming from the mountain the vegetation cover vary across the basin 
on plain regions tropical deciduous forests grow some commonly seen species are sal teak and peepal thick bamboo groves are common in brahmaputra plain the delta region is covered with mangrove forest we can see coniferous trees like fir pine and deodar in the mountains of uttarakhand sikkim and arunachal pradesh also wildlife is enormous in the basin we can see one horn rhinoceros in brahmaputra plain in delta region we have bengal tiger crocodile and alligator some other common animals of the basin are elephants tigers bees and monkeys also the basin has a rich aquatic life that are seen in the fresh river water lakes and in bay of bengal some popular variety of fish that are seen here are rohu katla and hilsa in the fresh waters of river ganga and brahmaputra a local variety of dolphin which is locally called susu it is also said as blind dolphin is seen the presence of susu is an indicator that shows the health of the river due to untreated industrial and urban waste with high chemicals are killing the species also the plain has big cities like allahabad kanpur varanasi lucknow patna and kolkata with high population are in the river bank of ganga the waste water and the industrial discharge from these towns pollute the river basin has all four way of transport tourism is an other important activity in the basin taj mahal which is on the banks of river yamuna in agra allahabad actually it is in the confluence of river ganga and yamuna buddha stupa in uttar pradesh and bihar imambara in lucknow kaziranga and manas wildlife sanctuary in assam and arunachal pradesh are some of the important tourist destinations thus we have come to an end hope the lesson is useful please do share your feedback and doubts and comment also please like share and subscribe our channel for more content thank you